So the story of Ricky Richards in this incarnation is that in 1983, my brother started uh, a small company to sell textiles. And he had a few products in his, in his arsenal at that stage. And about a year later, he dragged me in. He just said, oh, why don't you come in and work with me and uh, we can do this together. And I think we had a small staff of maybe four or five people. And I joined him and we just kicked on from there. And we were very fortunate that some people either felt comfortable with us or took pity on two young blokes trying to have a, have a go. And the company grew and grew. And as we grew, we got different products, we moved into different lines. And I guess the simple thing was really, we just wanted to do the right thing by whoever we dealt with. We did the right thing by suppliers, we did the right thing by our customers, and we like to do the right thing by the people who work here as part of the Ricky Richards company. Catherine Polger is our general manager. She's the first woman and non-family member to run Ricky Richards, and she really brings a new perspective and dynamic to the business. So Ricky is family. Um, it started as a family with, with uh, Norman Gottlieb, his brother Ron, and Eric, his father. And from there, as they were a small team, they've just grown, and everybody that's joined has been swept up into the family environment. And the best part is we support each other, and um, it's one of the favourite parts of most people experience at Ricky Richards being part of the family. When all said and done, uh, we are a distribution point for technical and sun control and print media textiles and fabrics. So what that means is we source product from around the world and around the world it obviously includes Australia as well. We have some great products coming out of Australia as well as from all over the world and we bring them into the country and we warehouse them here, the facility here and we market and sell them. Ricky has been a leader because of service. One of the things that we're very strong about is um, our stock holding. We hold a, a large inventory and that does us through the summer season, especially in our peak times. If we do run out for any reason, we tend to air freight. It's a priority, it's a cost of the business, but for something for us, it's very important that our customers are, are not left hanging, so we will do that. At Ricky Richards, when all is said and done, we find solutions for problems. Uh, the partnerships at Ricky Richards are very important to us. We have had partnerships that go back 30 years. We have Pfeiffer in the US who provides our mesh for sun control products. And we have Wong Pung in uh, Korea, which has a long family friendship with the Gottlieb's. Uh, we have Satel, it's a very strong uh, partnership for us. And we have various other people through Europe, uh, US and, um, and Asia as well. The facility here is around 14,000 square metres of warehouse space. So we are a genuine stocker, so it's not like we carry one or two rolls. Uh, if I'm allowed to say that, but we carry substantial holdings so that we can support our, our um, customers who convert these fabrics into wonderful finished products. And, and let me tell you, Australian-made uh, products are arguably some of the best in the world. In a very male-dominated industry and work environment, we always had a good number of women in key roles. and. It just seemed to happen that way. It just seemed a very natural thing for us. We've had uh, most of our management team positions are filled with women for quite a number of years now, and, and um, we are very proud of that. For every square metre of uh, sun control product we sell, we give uh, a percentage of that sale uh, back to the Melbourne Institute of Australia, and these guys are the leading research organisation in the world. Um, we are selling sun control products and this was a way for us to give back to our community. And we decided uh, between my brother, my father and myself that we would uh, go down a path of finding a cause that would be useful, uh, make sense to and a link to us. Um, and that's one of the key charities we support. And that goes hand in hand with our support for the Sydney Children's Hospital as well. So philanthropy has become more of a um, of an interesting thing for us to pursue and, and for us to give something back to the community because we've been fortunate to have some success along the way. Ricky values are very strong. Uh, integrity is a big part for us. We're accountable. If we say we're going to do it, we'll do it. We're experienced. There's a lot of guys in the industry who've been here a long time. Uh, we have one about to retire with 48 years of experience in the industry. Quality is one thing that we're very strong on. We hold our quality of products high. We won't de-engineer for price. I guess from our father and, and mother, we got a simple uh, set of values with do the right thing by people. 
it's not acceptable to go for second best or something just to, to make a few extra bucks. So we are very strong on those values. I guess there's a feeling of, uh, let's get this right. I just love this place. I just love this place, what can I tell you? I, 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 I love being here. I guess, if anything, as I get older, guess what, everybody else gets a little younger and, and it's a wonderful thing to be able to, to learn from the young people coming through the place. Like anybody who's been in business for a long time or been in a job a long time, I probably know everything. Except then you find out very quickly that you don't and every day is a learning experience. So we're happy for that to, to carry on as long as possible.